Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Desert Survival Let's Play series where in this episode we are... well I haven't really done much in the last episode if you did not watch it we uh, we went out mining for gold and uh, we got quite a bit <laughs> we got quite a bit here um, what did that sound like? we got quite a bit... Uh, I don't know uh, I meant quite a bit anyways we have a stack pretty much a stack and a half gold right here and then we also got 16 I believe 16 ingots from the nether fortress that we also found in the last episode including iron like a bunch of it and also diamonds and I asked in the last episode what you guys think we should do with it and there, kind of, there came a great many suggestions all good ones um, and to be honest with you I have yet to be able to decide but I will start with one thing first off I think we will be using one of the iron ingots here to make a shield right here boom that is going to be very helpful with like ghasts skeletons especially mainly um, so yeah that is gonna be a huge investment right here and then someone also said uh, an lava bucket because that can be used as a fuel though I'm not sure if I want to use the iron for that um, Yes, it is a fuel, but it is pretty easy to get with the planks and such. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I want to use iron for that, considering I could get armor or tools or weapons for that matter. Um, I'm still, I think I'm still gonna think about that. But it is a great suggestion. A lava bucket would be a very nice um, fuel source. It will last for quite a while, but then again, I don't have that much to cook at a time. But with my plants. I will, um, but, a lava but a lava bucket is a great um, suggestion, so I'm going to keep that. Um, tools and armor. I'm not quite sure what to use the diamonds for, but I'm thinking to save them up for diamond armor to maybe get netherite armor. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking along those lines. But in today's episode, um, we will be trying to get more iron and crying obsidian so we can get a respawn anchor because we have indeed got a new snapshot um, for this episode and if we move over close to the lava right over here I'm pretty sure hey guys how you doing um yeah a new mob has been added I don't even remember what the mob is called ah got it strider the strider um, and they dropped string, which is pretty cool. So maybe we'll do something with those today as well. But first, I want to bother with pigments. I want to... So, sorry, not pigments. Uh, piglins. But first, I need some food. And... Well, we made this Hockland farm, right? We made this Hockland farm, but it's not really... It's not really gonna work for us, I don't think. Mainly because of... Let me get some netherrack. I, I cannot live without having some netherrack. Netherrack? No, netherrack. Uh, do we have any mushrooms in here? No, we do not. Let me get some uh, netherrack so I can build stuff. I just want to really quickly demonstrate that before I would actually have to climb up here and then out. Yeah, as you can see, uh, even from here, oh dear, I, uh, I get attacked and it's, it's not nice. It's not very friendly of them. So that's an issue that we will have to fix and if you have not seen it yet I actually made a farm tutorial um, where I actually showed how you can make a farm with these guys with a semi-fk farm I guess you would call it. Either way it is on the channel you can find it. Um, it's pretty recently um, and yeah that basically means we won't need these guys anymore so I think I'm gonna kill these guys and you can actually farm the other ones that are walk on lava I'm not sure if they're gonna die if they are not in lava I have not tested any of that but either way we will not need this and we might as well help these guys um, release them from captivity so uh, I'm just gonna do this get the food <laughs> And um, I'll be I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Eh. Uh, this guy is an issue. But yay shield also for the yes piglin help me, help me. Thank you. I gotta say these guys these these guys are cool. <laughs> I like these piglins. <laughs> They've helped me twice now from dying or from uh, having issues with a hucklin. 
So I like these guys. I like them. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna. Oh. Yeah, about that lava pocket. That might actually be useful. <laughs> but again, um, I want to battle with piglins, and we can actually get iron from that. So I want to see how much iron we actually get, and then in the end we will be making some tools and potentially some armor and stuff. Um, I need to remember where I put what now, cause I forget. Also, um, I believe someone said you could now. Not quite sure, but that you could make campfire. I'm not sure if I remember correctly. Can you though? Oh, you can! You actually can! You can make a campfire with the crimson stem. Oh, that's so nice! That's so cool! I oh dear. Um, don't open fires uh, indoors without any ventilation. Um, ow! You will um, suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool that you can do that. Um, I might need to make some... Okay, uh, oh, now no, I need to break it. Because uh, this does not make any sense whatsoever to leave it here. Ow. Um, but you know what it'll do for now. So now I can cook food without having to use the furnace. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, so let me just get some more food and we'll do some buttering. Uh, with the piglins, so I'll be right back. Stay tuned. That's pretty cool. Ow. That's pretty cool. Not pretty cool to get burned. I mean, it's a cool feature, but th that's just not very cool in general. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is cool. Um, this is really this is really nice, actually. All right, just cooking the last few pork chops here, and we should be good to go ahead and do some battering with the piglins. Um, I am saving some gold here. Um, because I do, just in case I don't make an iron armor or a diamond armor right now, I do want to make some armor to get better protection. And I think we might go with diamond armor and iron tools because I feel like the armor is going to last a lot longer and the tools won't. So I would need, because I use the tools and weapons a lot more, so I would need to make new weapons and tools a lot more often. And gold is a lot easier to come by. Whereas the armor won't get beaten up as much because I'm not fighting all the time. Well, except for Hawklins and Gas and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I just think it would make more sense to make the armor out of something more durable. And also more expensive so I don't have to remake it as often as the tools that I use. Well, pretty much constantly, if that makes sense. Um, let me know what you think of that thought down below. But anyways, we have a piglin here. Um, hey, buddy. Uh... Yeah, we can do it in here, then stuff is controlled. Okay, cool. Um, now this is gonna be a slow process. <laughs> I could, of course, get a bunch of piglins together, which I think I might... Fire charges. Which I think I might. And keep in mind, I have all this gold, but I can I can get more. I just need to go out to a... Excuse me. An enchanted book with soul speed. I mean, if we get enough iron, we can actually make an anvil. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. They should also be able to give you iron boots with that uh, soul speed enchantment, actually, so that's really cool. Um, uh, dude, I can, I can get gravel myself. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna find some more piglins um, to do it. They give you splat. They give you fire resistance potions? How what now? That's so useful! I did, I did not know that. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really cool. Okay, um, I could keep battering with that guy, but I feel like it would be more efficient to have like three or four, even six, I don't know if how many I can get in one area, um, to batter with me on a ground that of course won't just disappear. Um, or like near an edge, sorry, and do it a lot faster. But that's what I was saying, keep in mind, this is just, this is a lot of gold, but like I got that in like, what was that, 40 minutes of mining in total? I don't even know how, how long I used um, to get gold, but I can get it again, um, basically. So that's not big of a deal. So let's get over here. And since when does skeleton spawn here? Uh, I do have a shield, but I don't want to fight them right now. Uh, uh, um, 
Yeah, you know what? I th I think I think the one piglin back at home uh, will suffice for me. Okay, finally I found a group of piglins behind the portal. The portal is over there. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best place. Also, I don't think I'm not sure how far away you can leave these guys. Also, these guys are in a pretty bad spot. Um, and also. Yeah, I could just... I might just go back home to the piglin at home. <laughs> uh, yes, that is exactly what I want, crying obsidian. We just need three more, actually. Could you please give me three more of those? Then we can make a, a um, respawn anchor. Please. What was that? Oh, I think that was gravel. <laughs> I think that was gravel. This is, this is actually pretty fun. Hey, you can have some too, actually, buddy. You can have some too. Leather, okay. Why? Okay, that's one thing. I have leather back home. Why have I never made leather armor yet? I I don't know. I honest I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. At, like at least, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this is <gasps> guys. We can make the uh, we can make the respawn anchor. We can make the respawn anchor. <laughs> like I hope I won't be needing it. But I mean, it's a cool thing to have. Then I don't need to go through that portal thing. And obsidian, that's pretty cool. How about you give me some stuff too, buddy? Yeah, it's very exciting. Gold, right? Very exciting. Uh, that was more normal obsidian and more crying obsidian. Okay. This is really exciting. <laughs> I'm hoping to get more stuff other than just gravel, fire charges, another brick and leather and obsidian. Uh, Like that. And what I mainly want is fire resistance and iron, <laughs> to be honest with you. And yeah, string is pretty cool too. String is very good. So I want good stuff. I don't care about the gravel and such, but it's I feel like it's definitely worth it. Right? <gasps> iron boots with soul speed 3. That's so cool. Suit up. It's in fact, wear those right now. I'm wearing these right now. Obsidian. Another brick. Okay. Oh, going over to my uh, to my full stack here. I like this. Uh, okay, you gave me soul sand. You gave me leather. Okay. Uh, he's getting far away. Okay, I guess he's don't want any more gold. <laughs> okay, more obsidian. This is really really cool. I have no idea how entertaining this is to watch, but let me know because this is very entertaining for me. <laughs> you know, I'm tempted to record me using all these fifty nine. Uh, gold ingots. I just don't know how interesting it will be. But I mean, I'll do it, I guess. Okay, maybe it's gonna get a bit boring when it gets old, but then I'll maybe come back when something interesting drops. So maybe I'll stand back a bit so they drop it on the floor. Uh, Grind Obsidian, yes! Don't tell me they take it back if you don't pick it up fast enough. I hope that's not the case here. Let's see. Fire resistance potions, drinkable. Yes, please. I'm gonna have an empty. I'm gonna have a full inventory. Sorry, at this rate, it's pretty cool. Okay, I don't want them to just. Okay, splash potion. I'll take the glowstone, even though I can get that myself. I'll take the glowstone. All right, I think I'm gonna do some battering here, and I'll come back if they drop something interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Um, <gasps> yes, more iron boots with soul speed. Yep, I'll definitely be back if something like that happens. But anyways, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> More fire resistance. I actually just cut it there. Um, so that was good. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty full here. You know what? Maybe. Okay. I'm not gonna cut out. I'm gonna continue because my inventory will be full in a bit. <laughs> in a very short bit, my inventory will be full, and I won't be able to grab more unless they throw me something stackable that is not already a full stack of. And we'll go back home, and we'll, um, we'll do some stuff there. Where did they? I guess they're. Off to hunt? I guess they were hunting. I guess their pack was hunting. Don't drop it down there. Please. Uh, was that quartz? I think that was quartz. Hey, you can get you can get some too. You can you can get more. You can get more. Fire resistance? Fire charges. No, I said resistance. Not charge. Resistance. Resistance? Um not quite what it was looking for but uh, I'll, I guess it has 
some fire resistance potentially. <laughs> okay, one last trade, then we'll head home and we'll sort stuff out. I'm really, really excited. Um, I'm very excited about uh, these these trades. This is so fun, actually. Um, but I'm very excited about all this stuff, the fire resistance potions and everything. I, I just can't stop. This this is this is addicting. I mean, it's it's like a thing where you're like. Oh, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be something good? What is it? Uh, just one more time. Just one more time. Yep, just one more time. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna drop the gravel. Because the potion is more valuable. Okay, let's get back. Let's organize our inventory. We can barter more with our friend back home. Um, who helped me kill that Huckland before. And uh, let's organize our inventory. Let's make that respawn anchor. Um, so I'll be right back. Um... If I can find my way back home, that is. Okay, here we are. Yes, I'll be right back. All right, so just to show kind of what I do here in my uh, organization stuff, um, the soul speed is pretty valuable, so that goes in the valuables chest together with the fire resistance. I'm keeping one splash fire resistance on me just in case I go like into lava, fall into lava or something, and I want to, um, and I want to, what's it called? Uh, yeah, save myself. <laughs> then I can use that. That was a lot of leather. Uh, so we're definitely gonna keep that, of course. Now if I can find my gravel chest, my soul sand chest right there. I'm gonna need my... Do I not have my chest for... There we go. I uh, can put that in there. Obsidian, got that. Crying obsidian, actually. I guess I could go on the same row. Because why not? We only need six, so that is beautiful. Um, I might actually make item frames for these. You can... Oh, I can make... Oh... Oh, hold on. Alright, made some iron frames. Because we might as well... Might as well live in style, right? Uh, I feel like they're yeah, uh, gonna be on the left side. And then I'm just gonna take something in here that like represent what is in that barrel. Um, I guess I can take this one, put that there. What we have in here, I guess we can put soul sand in that one. Just as long as I remember what is like in it. So I guess maybe... Popped fungus, fungus, I think. Um, I think that's that. I'm gonna also make, uh, make some glowstone. I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna put a bone block right there. Cause why not? Uh, also, I want to test. Eh, annoying thing. I also want to test something if it was possible. To make bone meal back into a bone block? I don't think it... Oh, it is! Okay. Um, thank you to you that suggested to put them together in, like, um... Compact them. I did not know you could do that, so thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Um, in that case, bone meal will go in there. <laughs> okay, uh, there. Eh, yeah, good enough. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm blabbering on. Let's make some iron ingots. So that is three more iron ingots, actually, we got from bartering. That's pretty cool. Um, that means we can actually get an axe. A pickaxe and a shovel and a sword. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, we we can get an iron bucket. We can get a bucket and pretty much all iron tools with that iron. I know iron is pretty expensive, um, but I feel like it is worth doing, even though the iron pickaxe is gonna get reduced significantly, so maybe I'll only use the iron pickaxe for like ores and stuff, but I don't know, it's there, it's there. Anyways, let's get to make the respawn anchor, I'm excited about that. Uh, I don't know where to put the fire charge, I um, guess I'm just gonna put it in here for now, because I don't really have anywhere else for it, but uh, let's make the respawn anchor, which is pretty much like this, crying obsidian and glowstone, and boom, we have the respawn anchor. I'm gonna put this... Now, as someone also mentioned, um, I cannot break this because I don't have a diamond pickaxe. Oh, sorry, I don't have a, um, a silk touch pickaxe. Um, I think that is what's going to happen. I think... I don't know, actually. I don't know if you can pick it up without using a diamond pickaxe. And even if you can, I don't know if you'll get the whole thing back unless you have, like, silk touch. I'm not sure. Don't take my word on any of that because I don't know. Don't take my word on it. But anyways, I'm going to place it right here. I think up here is going to be very nice. And yeah, we might as well use this area for stuff. Right now, it does not work because it's not charged. What we will need... Ow. Okay, that, 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 that... 
no. No. Chaco. Oh, can you make a thing out of that? Uh, hold on. Can you? Uh, uh, I need. I need sticks. <laughs> hold on. Can you make? Can you make a campfire out of like charcoal? Uh, don't think you can. Can you? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, good. Um, I'm just gonna place it outside. I think. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to it for now because I don't need it right now. Um, but yeah, I'll keep it on me and I'll do that, put it in there for now. Uh, did not label these yet. There we go. Those are labeled, I guess, kind of. Uh, put that in there. And But yeah, what we will need for the respawn anchor is glowstone blocks to charge it up. So you just take a glowstone block and you right-click it. And it's turned on. I love that sound. Eh, can't right-click it, apparently. And it's fully charged, and I can right-click it. And respawn point has been set, so now uh, I should respawn back here if I die. I don't want to test it, um, but I guess we'll find out at some point. Also, these has taken durability damage already because I've actually been walking on soul sand. So that's the thing. Also, they have soul speed three. That's not bad at all. You know what? Let's actually test them. I want to test them. Um, but I don't want to do two. Uh, the episode is already like 19 minutes long. I kind of wanted to do some with the with the things, the stringy things. Anyways, whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. Back to normal. Whoa. They're gonna be pretty drained from this. Let's see. 193. So from that trip, 193. Okay. It's not too bad. And if I run, whoa. Then they do take damage. Okay. But I guess just walk. Okay, walking also takes down the total see But that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that is pretty cool right there. So we did some battering. We made the respawn anchor, which I'm really, really happy for about. Um, we also got the fire resistance potions, which is, of course, also really, really nice. Um, I really wanted to do some stuff with the new things over there in the lava. I don't know if we can see them from here. Yeah, we can. Um, but I think we'll do that in the next episode. I think I need to do some more research with them. And then we can potentially make a farm out of them because they're neutral to you. So that's cool. Um, or passive. I don't think they will attack you even if you attack them. Now, big decision here because I want to make some armor and um, I don't want to go wrong in town. Alright guys, it is actually quite a bit from the last clip for me because I've been doing a lot of thinking about the armor and uh, such. And one thing that I did do in between uh, these two uh, moments, clips, whatever, <laughs> I uh, did some more bartering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun and this is basically what I got. I didn't get any more iron. So technically from the um, the one stack, as you can see I only have these 16 uh, gold ingots over here. So from one stack of 25 gold, I got a lot of stuff. Not gonna lie. Got a lot of stuff and I'm really happy with what we got. I would have just wanted more iron. But out of all that, I think I got like four, sorry, three iron nuggets or something like that, so not too much. Well, actually not a whole lot when you consider the amount of gold, but then again, I think it is pretty rare that you get iron from them, so yeah, but that is, it's, 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 pretty, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, we got a bunch of leather here and also, of course, more crying obsidian, which is really cool. Um, so let me just organize my inventory in, I love this new story system that I got. Oh, also I got some ender pearls, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about that because I'm not sure what I would need them for. I guess I can make an ender chest. I guess I could make an ender chest. I guess I could make multiple actually and then have one with me and whenever I'm out looting and mining for gold and doing stuff like that, if I do that for a very, very long time and meet multiple fortresses, I can place one down, but I, gen I just can't pick it back up. So let me know what you think of that. Should I make other chests and use them as storage, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I did a bunch of this. And let me just put that and then there we go. Is there no more fire resistance? Yeesh, that's a lot of fire resistance right here. 
And I'm really happy that we have the fire resistance now. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Um, about the armor, I did a bunch of thinking. And I think the best thing... Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, we have a lot of iron boots with uh, soul speed now. <laughs> we have four pairs in total. One which I am currently um, wearing. But I think with the armor, what I'm going to do... I'm going to stick with the iron boots as well, because soul speed. And I'm going to make a golden helmet to wear. And then we can make other armor for the chest plate and the leggings. But, as you may see, the iron and the diamonds here are missing. That is because I made a whole new chest just to organize it a little bit more. Because I'm not going to make the armor and tools today because I want your, you guys' advice on what you think. So this is technically, this is basically what I have been thinking. Um, a tool station, a tool station? I don't actually know what they're called, but the thing, the crafting thing you use to convert diamond stuff into netherite stuff. Um, of course, we will be needing that down the road, so I guess we might as well make it now. Only takes two iron ingots, so that's not too bad. Um, I definitely want to make a bucket, so that is five iron ingots used in total, and we have eight remaining. Then I'm thinking that it would be great to have a diamond pickaxe, even if I'm not going to use it um, for just normal mining stuff. We would need it for the, um, for the ancient debris. I don't think you can mine it with anything other than a diamond pickaxe. Um, at least I don't assume you can. And then I'm thinking a diamond axe. Just because I'm going to be cutting a lot of wood. And it's going to be nice to be able to do it fairly quickly. And also I could use it as a weapon. Um, and it's going to last very long. My thought is just that the tools is what I use the most. So it would make sense to make it out of the most durable thing. So I don't have to replace it as much. Whereas if I made the axe and pickaxe and sword out of, out of iron, it would lose the durability fairly quickly. But the diamond has way more durability. Um, and I don't tend to take that much damage down here in, <laughs> in the nether, except for like hotlands and such. Um, so I think it would be more worth it to use diamonds for the tools and then potentially iron or any leftover diamonds for armor. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We could of course also just rock full gold armor. We could do that, but iron armor is still better. And again, I think diamond tools is really best because I use them the most. They're going to take the most hits, the most um, durability um, drain. So I guess it would make more sense to make them out of the most durable resource. And then hopefully we will, of course, find more from other fortresses. But let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. And in the next episode, we will be making this stuff. Um, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to wait any longer. Next episode, we will make tools and stuff. And we will be... Um, are they still there? Yeah, we're going to do something with those. Probably make a farm out of them. And potentially trying to ride one. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Leave your feedback down below. Hope everything was understandable. <laughs> but anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. That screen is creepy. I'm going to go back inside. Goodbye. Yes.